Hi, my name is Carlos Coronado. I'm a game dev and welcome to this tutorial where we will take a look and talk about detail texture. But first and most important, here's a dick shaped shadow for you. Okay, so what is a detail texture? So detail texture is a texture of something that you only want to see up close, like for example this enemy here, this is one of the enemies of my game Infernium, released for PS4, Switch and Steam and if you take a look at it, it has kind of some general detail like the ambient occlusion here, like the dirt here, but if I go close to him you can see a new kind of detail, which is actually the pattern of the fabric so this is a detail texture and there, is, there are actually various ways to achieve those so in Let's actually open the enemy and take a look at the texture. Okay, Mr. Blanket. Okay, so this is the blanket. Where is the part with the detailed texture? It's really, really easy. We just need to search for an overlay here. So this is... The, actually, this is all... You can forget about this all and I'm actually going to just connect this here and totally disable the rest so now only this okay well I'm going to put a zero in specular right the other is some things with the two sided material and the movement of the cloak in the ground with some vertex out there and blah 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 but yeah it's only this and it's so simple Take a look at it. As you can see, it still has a detailed texture, right? And still has the ambient occlusion and the general texture. So, this is the simple way and the simple way to do it, and it's really, really easy. You just need uh, the general texture, of course, in this case, this cloak, and you need a node called a blend overlay and in the blend you actually need another texture which of course is the fabric pattern which is mainly like gray or like mid gray it's really easy to do that in photoshop with filters other high pass and you, you get this, this kind of mid gray and a texture coordinates with more tiling applied to that texture so that that texture tiles more because of course if I quit that one, I'm into big trouble. Why? Because the texture is as big as the cloak itself, and we don't really want that, right? Well, actually, I'm going to get things how they were in the beginning. Okay, fantastic. Okay, now that we know the basic method, let's actually see a much more interesting one. Let's see what happens when we don't actually want detail in textures. And I know some of you could say, what the fuck? Why wouldn't I want detail in texture? Like for example, this cliff here, right? I want the, this kind of macro texture, like you see how big this texture is? And I wanted to see it from the distance. But of course, because the map is so big, when I get off, co off, 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 off close, I lose detail. But wait, why don't I lose detail? Because look at what, what's happening here. When I'm close, look at this area, and I'm going to gently move the camera away. Oh, ah, it's happening. Oh, did you realize it? Look here, look here. Oh, so the texture is actually changing, as you can see, if I move the camera fast. Of course, the player is never going to be able to be that fast, but we have actually a layer between two textures. One, it, which is the closer texture, which are all the detail up close, but with, you don't really want all this detail and repetition far away, because then the, the repetition is too obvious. Like, for example, here, clong, 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 clong. you can really see that repetition here, right? So how can we achieve that? Really easy. Mm -mm, let me take a look. Yeah, so this is the node 
that it's actually taking care of it. I'm just going to show you the results of why if I don't we don't do this what happens so now I'm just going to put the small texture on it on this material and later we're going to try with the big texture so with the small texture of clothes it still looks right but far away uh, it's see that it's like a paste you cannot really see the detail anymore on the other hand you can see it here right let's try with the other one now of course this is all a, ver a vertex paint shader that's why the material is so big okay but we just need to focus on this one of course now from far away it looks fantastic nice detail distribution but if I get close it's see here this it's, it's you can not really see the pixels so from up close it's it's bad so what you actually do is you lerp you linear interpolate between the two textures and how do you lerp you lerp between the two textures and one of them of course tile it and you lerp with a node called pixel dev and these are just um, nodes to see and with this one i think that you add where do you want the fade to begin and this is how big is going to be the fall off of the shape then you clamp the result and there you have the alpha for your for your lerp okay so yeah this is actually we're actually done for today these are the two methods the two simple methods i know for actually setting up the the detail textures of course this one is a much more expensive one that's why i don't use this one a lot i prefer to use the other one every time i can use the other one i use the other one but if i cannot use the other one like in here i use this one so yeah that's all for today and hope you you find this tutorial useful bye